Interestingly, some reports that India helped Lanka president to flee to Maldives are doing the rounds. The Indian High Commission in Sri Lanka but has dismissed the reports as baseless and speculative. Some media reports said that India had facilitated President Gotabaya Rajapaksha's exit from the country. According to reports, Gotabaya had fled the crisis-hit island country hours before he was scheduled to resign from the post. High Commission categorically denies baseless and speculative media reports that India facilitated the recent reported travel of Gotabaya Rajapaksha out of Sri Lanka. The Indian High Commission in Sri Lanka tweeted, It is reiterated that India will continue to support the people of Sri Lanka as they seek to realize their aspirations for prosperity and progress through democratic means and values established democratic institutions and constitutional framework, it added. President Gotabaya Rajapaksha and his wife along with two bodyguards traveled to Maldives after full approval of the country's defense ministry, Sri Lanka officials confirmed on Wednesday. In a statement, the Sri Lankan Air Force also said that the move was done under the executive powers vested with the president. According to the request of the government in accordance with the powers vested in an executive president in the constitution of Sri Lanka, His Excellency the President and the lady along with two bodyguards from uh, Kautunayake International Airport flew to the Maldives subject to the full approval of the Ministry of Defense and subject to immigration, customs and all other laws at Kautunayake International Airport. An Air Force flight was given early in the morning on 13th July 2022 to depart, Sri Lankan Air Force media director said in a statement. Gotabaya Rajapakshe enjoys immunity from arrest and he is believed to have wanted to go abroad before stepping down to avoid the possibility of being detained. The departure of the 73-year-old leader, once known as the Terminator, had been stymied for more than 24 hours in a humiliating standoff with immigration personnel at the airport. He had wanted to fly to Dubai on a commercial flight, but staff at Bantaranaike International withdrew VIP services and insisted that all passengers go through public counters. The presidential party were reluctant to go through regular channels fearing public reactions, a security official said, and as a result missed four flights on Monday that could have taken them to the United Arab Emirates. Clearance for a military flight to land in the closest neighbor, India, was not immediately secured, a security official said. And at one point on Tuesday, the group headed to a naval base with a view to fleeing by sea. Rajapakshi's youngest brother, Basil, who resigned in April as finance minister, missed his own Emirates flight to Dubai early on Tuesday after a tense standoff with airport staff. Gotabaya landed at the Velana International Airport in the Maldives early on Wednesday. The Prime Minister's office also confirmed that President Gotabaya Rajapakshe had left the country. On July 11th, Gotabaya signed a resignation letter scheduled to be handed over to the Speaker of Parliament to make a public announcement on July 13th. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe sworn in on July 13th as interim president till a new president is elected by parliament on July 20th and nominations for the presidency will be called for on July 19th. By the way, he declared emergency in the country on July 13th, Wednesday. Sri Lanka is facing the worst economic crisis since its independence, which has led to massive protests demanding the ouster of Gotabaya as the president. Sri Lanka Speaker of Parliament Mahinda Yapa Abeyavardhane has said political party leaders have decided to elect a new president on July 20th through a vote in Parliament. On July 9th, thousands of people stormed into the president's house and fought. The dramatic visuals also came from PM's official residence where they were seen playing carom board, sleeping on the sofa, enjoying in park premises and preparing food for dinner. In the wake of record food price inflation, skyrocketing fuel costs and widespread commodity shortages. Some 61% of households in Sri Lanka are regularly using coping strategies to cut down on costs such as reducing the amount they eat and 
consuming increasingly less nutritious meals. Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson Arindam Bhakchi had said last month that Sri Lanka is a neighbor and close friend of India and the government was closely watching the developments in the island nation. As a close neighbor of Sri Lanka with historical ties, India is fully supportive of its democracy, stability and economic recovery, he had said.